Event 2 is Rudolph's Relay. This is 6 rounds for time, 5 handstand push-ups, 10 devil's presses, 15 box jumps, and 30 double unders. The workout begins with athlete 1 kicking up into a handstand and performing 5 handstand push-ups. After the athlete has finished 5 handstand push-ups, they will continue to do 10 devil's presses. After completing 10 devil's presses, the athlete will perform 15 box jump overs. After the 15th box jump over has been completed, the athlete will complete 30 double unders. Both the strict and kipping handstand push-up start with the athlete kicking up into a locked out upright straight position with nothing touching the wall but the athlete's heels. The athlete must start with both hands inside the 24 inch box and the head must touch the floor. If the athlete's hands slip outside the box, it is a no rep. The athlete's head, not hair, must touch the mat. I don't care how big a hair you got, it doesn't count. The finished position of the strict and kipping handstand push up is nothing touching the wall. If during the strict handstand push up the athlete touches the wall with their body, it is a no rep. If the athlete fails to hit the full extension, it is a no rep. If the athlete's body touches the wall at the top position, it is a no rep. The hand release push up starts at the top position to the chest touch to the ground and both hands come up off the deck. This is a hand release push up. Push ups from the knees will not be allowed. This is a no rep. Worming all the way up is a no rep. Hips and shoulders must rise at the same time. This is a good rep. You may not kip into the push-up. We ain't trying to get jiggy with it right now. Calm down, Funk Town. The Devil's Press starts with both hands on the dumbbells and chest either on the dumbbells or the ground. You will step or jump to feet underneath and swing in the dumbbells directly over your shoulders. Return the dumbbells to the ground and repeat the rep. A step up in the devil's press is allowed. Removing your hands from the dumbbells and going down is not allowed. This is a no rep. While lifting the dumbbells, they may not stop or touch the body at any time. This is a no rep. The devil's press finishes with the dumbbells over the shoulders. You're not doing the YMCA here. That was a no rep. The dumbbells may not touch the shoulders during the swing up. This is a no rep. What are you doing? The box jump overs are a two foot takeoff, two foot touch the box, two foot land. This is a good rep. If you're athletic as shit, you may jump over the entire box. This is allowed. So athletic. A single foot takeoff is a no rep. What is he doing? You may not put your hands on the box. This is not a good rep. Knock it off. You can do it. No, you can't.
A box step over, both feet must touch the top of the box before stepping down. It is not required to extend your hips all the way during the box step over. That counts. You may not step all the way over the box. This is a no rep. This is also not a rep. Do not do this. When the first person on the team finishes their double unders, they must touch hands with the next athlete. This must happen between each transition from one athlete to the next. If you do not touch hands, the next athlete cannot start. See you soon!